ShireSociety.com. Thought you guys might enjoy listening to this. Uh, I'm going to read a note to you uh, that I just sent to Ben Swan. Uh, as you probably know, he's the former mainstream press journalist who's now sort of out on his own. I was kind of surprised pleasantly that he chose to announce his new site or network or whatever it's going to be here in New Hampshire. So I sent him this, quote, Ben, thanks for holding your event in New Hampshire. I'm sorry I missed it, but did invite a few dozen people. Have you considered locating your TV network here? Doing so would have the same kind of symbolic importance that holding the event here did. But it would also put you in proximity to a lot of interesting news, often national news, that the mainstream media can't cover adequately. It would send the message that D.C. does not have to be the center of attention. You said you wanted to model on CNN's success, and obviously they located it away from D.C. with good results. Everything liberty-related that happens here counts, Ben, for a great deal more than it would anywhere else. Most importantly, if, and probably when, you are targeted, you'll want to be in physically, uh, physical proximity to as many dedicated liberty activists as possible. NH is really the only place that fits the bill. Their ability to put people on the street, to shepherd legislation or court action in your defense, to draw additional attention to you and harden your resistance to attack, can be found nowhere else. You may already have heard the other freedom-related reasons for moving to New Hampshire, 101 of them, and then I, there I link to the Free State Project, 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire. Uh, returning to the quote, uh, Ron Paul missed a critical opportunity not long ago, one which would have guaranteed freedom in one state. He failed to follow up on his own idea and the Concord Monitor's suggestion that he relocate here. I hope you will avoid that mistake and take advantage of what we have in this proto-paradise. It's the ultimate counter-programming move. Regardless, best wishes and thank you for what you are doing. David Lee, RidleyReport.com, New Hampshire's second most popular YouTube channel, hoping to lose that title to you at first opportunity. Unquote. Once I got done with that, I thought, well, I put enough time into this note. I'll just send a copy of it to Amber Lyon, the former CNN reporter who's now in the same situation. I haven't heard back from either of them. That's okay. Hopefully they at least read it and the thought has been planted. <laughs> when you're a free stater, everything looks like moving to New Hampshire. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.